Now in this part of the question, we're asked to find the shaded area R. Now, in order to find the shaded area R, what we can do is find the area of the sector ABC and subtract the area of this triangle ABD. So I'll just write that in, that the area R will equal the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle ABD. Now we know the area of the sector. We worked that out in part B. It came to exactly 19.6 centimetres squares. Now I need to subtract the area of the triangle ABD. And to work out the area of a triangle, just as a reminder, when you've got two sides and an included angle, we'll just draw a little triangle up here just to demonstrate this. Two sides, let's say we call them A and B, and we've got the included angle, let's call it C. The area of the triangle, you should know this formula, is always equal to a half AB sine of that included angle, sine C. So I'm going to use that here for the area of triangle ABD. So it's going to be half of the product of the two sides times the sine of the included angle. So that would be half times 7 times 3.5 times the sine of the included angle 0 0.8 and remember it's radians. So again in this question we're doing the sine of an angle in radians, so you need to be in radians mode on your calculator to do this. So when we work this out, we've got 19.6, and you should find that the area of the triangle comes out to 8.78761, and so on. So you just need to subtract this from 19.6, and what we get is 10.8123 and so on, and that's going to be equal to 10.8 centimetre squares to 3SF, because we were asked to give the answer to 3SF. So that's 10.8 centimetre squares to three significant figures. And that brings us now to the end of that question.